Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Saturday, the 4th of September, and we're completing the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, our Gospel is from Luke, chapter 6, verses 1 to 5. One Sabbath, Jesus happened to be taking a walk through the cornfields, and his disciples were picking ears of corn, rubbing them in their hands and eating them. Some of the Pharisees said, why are you doing something that is forbidden on the Sabbath day? Jesus answered them, so you have not read what David did when he and his followers were hungry, how they went into the house of God and took the loaves of offering and ate them and gave them to his followers, loaves which only the priests are allowed to eat. And he said to them, the son of man is master of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we come to two stories about Jesus and the Sabbath. One is about the picking of corn on the Sabbath, and the second is about healing on the Sabbath. And we will hear that healing story on Monday coming. In this first story, we hear of the Pharisees complaining that Jesus' disciples are working on the Sabbath. And we need to understand that it's not just the act of picking the corn, but we're also told in the gospel how the disciples are rubbing the corn in order to eat the corn kernels. So it's this act of rubbing and dislodging the corn that the Pharisees are deeming as work. And because it's work, it's not allowed on the Sabbath. And Jesus carefully answers the Pharisees with two points. One is specific and relates to David, and one is more generalized. This story today is about the authority of Jesus. As Jesus refers, David had authority to take the loaves of bread and the Son of Man, Jesus, has greater authority over the Sabbath itself. I think we must always be mindful, particularly with the laws of our church, that we just don't slavishly follow the law like the Pharisees in the gospel. But we always remember to look for and apply the spirit of the law. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. Hope you have a great weekend this weekend. Look forward to seeing you on Monday. Till then, take care and God bless. Thanks, everyone.